In this video, I just want to show you the huge myriad of different possible inputs that you can use on your website. So all of them revolve around just changing the type attribute to something else. So let's start with, so far we've looked at text already in the previous video, and that just looks like this, a, strange, a general text input. We also looked at email like this, which again looks very similar, but it's only going to accept email addresses. There's another one that's similar to that called URL, which will only accept um, web URLs. So what about, we have one for accepting telephone numbers like that. We have one for accepting passwords like this. So this one's a little bit different because it will actually hide the characters that are typed into it. We have one for accepting just numbers in here, and this only allows you to type numbers in it, and you can have this little increment box here that goes up and down. We have one for search fields like this. Doesn't look like much, but the idea behind it is you can click the X to clear your sort of search input. We have one for accepting time here. You can see you can increment the time, the hours, the minutes, and the seconds. We have one for dates. And this here has a little calendar picker, so you can choose a date from the calendar picker. We have one for colors, choosing colors like this. Don't forget it's American spelling. So here you go, you can click on that and choose a color. Um, what else do we have? We have one for accepting file uploads. That's input type equals file, like this. And this is the one where you get to choose your file from the list. And we have one called range, like this. It gives you a little slider. And there's two more I'm going to show you later on. But here's the, the big list of possible different input types that you can put in your website. Now, some of them have really interesting uh, extra attributes that you can put on them. So placeholder works on all of them like we've looked previously. So in the URL, you could put a placeholder here. So like that. So now you can see the URL has example.com in there. Uh, let's look at the number here. We can actually provide a minimum and maximum value on it. So you go minimum equals 10 and max equals, uh, let's say, 25. So on the number, which is right here, you can see if you do the increment thing, you can never get below 10 and you can never get above um, 25 if I was to click up there. I'm going to copy this one and do another one here. Let's do a minimum of 0 and a maximum of 1. And I want the step to be equal to 0 0.01. And now every time I click the up and down arrows, it will increment by 0 0.01 like this. And it will only allow me to go between 0 and 1. So we can choose sort of, you know, um, restrictions on the fields like that. These min and max also apply to range. So the minimum could be um, 5 and the max could be 10 like this. So now on our range here, it's going to only allow us, you can see it's jumping between those numbers like that. And we can do the same sort of step value on here also. So these are all the major inputs that we can use. They have other sorts of restrictions on them that we can add, um, but these are the major inputs, except for two more, which we're going to look at in the next video.